So I quickly want to talk about womb cancer, also known as endometrial cancer. So the womb looks like this. This is the womb and this is the lining of the womb. So most womb cancer usually starts from the inner lining of the womb. And what are the symptoms of womb cancer? Intermenstrual bleed, which will be bleeding in between your periods. Postmenopausal bleed, if a woman above the age of 50 who has stopped seeing her period suddenly comes through with bleeding, probably let's say six months after her period has stopped, then I'll be thinking of womb cancer. Sexual discomfort, feeling bloated, feeling long in the lower tummy. And if you're a lady with polycystic ovarian syndrome and suddenly you start noticing bloating, feeling lump in your, in your womb, then I will be very worried and I will go see my doctor urgently so that he can carry out a scan to confirm if the lining of my womb is thick. And if they find that, then they will be referring you urgently to have a biopsy of the lining of your womb. Now, how can a lady with polycystic ovarian syndrome reduce her risk of womb cancer? Now, most of us are already familiar with the fact that most women with polycystic ovarian syndrome do not usually see their periods monthly. If you've got polycystic ovarian syndrome and you notice that you don't have up to four periods in a year, that is within 12 months period, please go see your doctor so that they can start you on some medications to initiate withdrawal bleed, which usually happens when the inner lining of your womb slows off. Now, let me quickly describe what happens in women who have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So their ovaries have multiple cysts that produce oestrogen. So now unopposed oestrogen causes the inner lining of the womb to continue to get thicker and thicker and thicker. And if care is not taken and the woman is not on any medication that contains progesterone that can help to inhibit or stop that oestrogen production, then they will be at an increased risk of womb cancer. Now, other than all the symptoms I've described, there are some other symptoms such as feeling tired all the time, um, having low iron from excessive blood loss, weight loss, night sweat. Now, if you've got family history of womb cancer and you, you notice that you've been having all of the symptoms that I've explained, please can you go see your doctor urgently. If you did find this video useful, it means other people would. Please can you like, share and save for later. Thank you.